what does this drug do exactly? This is a, a drug, it's in a class of drugs called monoclonal antibodies, and they are intended to remove what we think is the bad actor in Alzheimer's disease, this uh, A-beta peptide, this little protein. Now, there are a number of these antibodies. It builds and they up in don't, the brain, correct? It, that's correct, in people with Alzheimer's. In fact, it builds up in the brain probably years before you develop symptoms. But these antibodies are intended to clear that out of the brain, and they don't all work in exactly the same way. But what makes this so promising, even though it's just a mid-phase uh, result, is that this is another antibody that's looking like it's headed the right direction. One of the challenges in the field has been that people always want to hit a home run, and sometimes you just need to get some base hits to show that you're on the right direction. So. This is one of what's now four antibodies that all directionally seem to be moving the signal the way we'd like to see it. So they're not definitive results, okay. but they're promising results. Salim, clearly a, a big share price move today. Is that in part because expectations were fairly low for this set of results? Yeah, absolutely. For this drug in particular, Band 2401, which is partnered uh, Biogen and ASI, um, investor expectations were extremely low based on the earlier data that we had seen, um, this trial actually failed to hit its primary endpoint at the 12 month marker. The data that we got yesterday was for the 18 months, which it did hit. Doctor, there's some uh, debate about whether or not the way the results were measured by these companies is valid. Can, can you inform us about that and how significant that is? So they used an outcome uh, called the ADCOMS, which hasn't typically been used in trials. And there's some debate in terms of how clinically meaningful or relevant that scale is. But at this early stage of drug development, in my view, anything that says that the drug is having the intended effect in the brain uh, is a good thing. So there will be lots of discussions about the outcome measure uh, as they proceed ahead to what we would assume would be phase three trials the late-stage so, trials. When, when would the late-stage trials be? And, and meantime, are there any other rivals with competing drugs that have uh, upcoming data releases that could offset the move we've seen in the share price? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing that we're going to see or want to see is the detailed data for Band 2401. Uh, we could get that data as early as the AIC meeting. Uh, that is coming up at um, in Chicago, potentially um, at the end of July this, this year. Um, after that, all eyes are focused on aducanumab. Aducanumab is Biogen's phase three, also partnered with ASI, phase three drug. That data is coming at the end of 2019 or early 2020. And then after that, shortly after that, would be a Roche slash AC immune compound called Cronezumab, also phase three. And Salim, just gauge for us the share price move. So up 19% today. Is that more than you think is warranted? What's your recommendation on the stock? Yeah, so you know, every, every, about every 10% increment in probability of success for this, for this particular drug equates to about $7 in DCF value. Um, we put out a note yesterday talking about how this would be a 10% or more move. Um, so pr investors are probably at least pr predicting that this drug now at least has a 50% shot of working in phase three trials or at least getting approved. Doctor, finally, you hinted at this a little bit, but we're not 100% certain that if you get rid of these amyloids in the brain that it actually stops Alzheimer's. Do we know that for certain yet? No, we don't, and that's certainly been one of the big questions for the field. But with these data, in addition, as I mentioned, to data from three other antibodies, it does seem that directionally we're on the right track. We're headed the right direction. So they're promising data, but not yet definitive. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.